Compound angle formula application. Question 9. Show that sin 3x equals to 3 sin x minus 4 sin qx. Well, we can always write sin 3x as sum of 2x and x. Now, if I do that, then I need to expand sin 2x plus x, which will be sin 2x cos x plus cos 2x sin x. Well, that means I need the formula for cos 2x and sin 2x, right? And so let's write down those formulas to begin with, right? So sin 2x formula for us is equals to 2 sin x cos x. So that's good. Now what is cos 2x formula? Now cos 2x formula has three things in it. Uh, well, there are three formulas for cos 2x. One is cos square x minus sin square x. The other one is 2 cos square x minus 1. And the third one is 1 minus 2 sin square x. Now since we want everything in sine, so we'll prefer to write cos 2x as 1 minus 2 sin square x. Correct? Now let's begin. Uh, let me change the pen. A different ink. That's the formula which we are going to use to prove this identity. Okay? Now, so let's write. So what is sine of 3x equals 2? Sine 3x can be written as sine of 2x plus x. Now, which is sine 2x cos x plus cos 2x sine x. Now, instead of sine 2x, I can use the formula and write 2 sine x cos x. And here, instead of cos 2x, I'll use 1 minus 2 sine square x. The idea is to get sine terms, right? That's why we're converting everything to the sine form, sine x. Now, oh, I forgot to write cos x. Sine 2x is 2 sine x cos x times cos x. So let me write this times cos x. Let me square it now. Okay, that's fine. So it is like sine 2x. Let me show what I did here for this term. So it is sin 2x is written as 2 sin x cos x times cos x, right? So cos x times cos x squared, so I squared it. Do you see that? So, so this term I wrote like that and then like this. Okay, so that's how we have. And let me rewrite this. 2 sin x and I don't need cos squares because I need everything in sine. So I'll convert this to 1 minus sine square x. Okay, and here I'll expand this. So I get sine x plus 1 is sine x. And this is 2 sine cube x. Got it. So we need 4. We got 2 already. Good. Let me expand this part. So we get 2 sine x minus 2 sine cube x plus sine x minus 2 sine cube x. Now let's combine the like terms. 2 sine x and sine x gives us 3 sine x. Minus 2 minus 2 gives me 4 sine cube x. And that is the right side. So that is how you prove this identity. This is not only an identity, it's a formula for you, okay? So, so from now onwards, you know what sine 2x is. Sine 2x is 2 sine x cos x and sine 3x can be written as 3 sine x minus 4 sine cube x, okay?